Hey there, before we get into the video, it's the 23rd of February and just as of like this night morning, Russia has been attacking our Ukrainian neighbors. Um, I just wanted to send out all of my support to Ukraine and the people in Ukraine, stay strong. Um, yeah, I, I think we just need to do everything to keep peace in this world. I know it's not a political channel or anything, but something like that happened with missile strike in cities and so much military military aggression is towards the country then uh, it's just it's just not a normal day anymore. So I thought I brought that up, send my love and prayers. Let's get into the N S20 unboxing. Hi and welcome to Wrong Way. And today We'll be unboxing the King Song S20. So, oof, let me tell you more about it. Broadway. And of course, first up, big thanks to my e wheel for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. If you want to get a wheel or this wheel or any other wheel in Europe, feel free to use the um, link below. And also a coupon code called WRONGWAY for additional 5% off. I also do receive kickback from these orders, so you know what's what. Anyways, uh, I'm a bit late to the party. There's been already lots of videos about the S20, which I also highly recommend you checking out. Um, for EUC upgrades, what? You see upgrades uh, for checking the quality, made a pretty nice video, uh, already a couple of reviews out, Electric Dreams made one, so feel free to check that out if you can't wait for my review. But anyways, it's here and just for comparison, this is a Kingsong 18L box. This is by far the biggest box for a EUC I've ever received. Bigger than the Veteran Abrams, bigger than the Monster Pro pretty huge and the batteries are separated uh, I mean separate because it's shipping by air and here you can see I always talk about labels so finally I can show you an example this is the label that should be for the batteries and only cargo aircraft so the thing is that they ship it separately because I believe that the EUC doesn't have a necessary rating to put the batteries inside and then air freight it uh, same thing I had with the Kingsong N11 scooter it's been air freighted to just have it quicker here on site. So I'll probably first unbox the EUC, we'll check out how it looks like and then we'll put the batteries in and then we'll see how it behaves. With that said, uh, let's get this box out of the way first and it's time to open it up. Maybe I'll do the smart thing that I recently saw on a Jimmy Chang channel and I'll open up the bottom first and then I'll slide it out from the top. Maybe this will make sense. So yeah, most anticipated wheel, I believe, this year. Uh, the Kingsong S20. P first sort of performance suspension you see, or like bigger performance suspension you see by Kingsong. Uh, so that's very exciting. However, in contrast to how I was maybe a year ago, I'm pretty skeptical. I will test this thing thoroughly. I will see how much torque it has, what's the range, what's the real-world performance. Yeah, I'm not sure actually if it will have more range than the Kingsong 16X, which actually has 1600 watt hours and this has 2200, but I don't know if I'm not getting a bit ahead of myself, this is just an unboxing. Oh, Jimmy, I don't know if that's easier. Maybe it is. Okay, let's see. Open it up. Okay, things, things are falling out, but I believe the EUC is stable. Of course I did it the wrong way, but damn! Damn, that looks very interesting. Definitely feels like a spaceship. This nonsense. Already almost hurt myself. <laughs> Alright, but let's see what... <laughs> get in the box. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the right choice or I just opened it the wrong way. We do get a seat right away and we just put it, plonk it on here. It's a relatively squishy material, relatively thin. I like thin seats. As you can see here on my veteran Abrams, the seat is just sort of grip tape for handlebars. 
and I like that. It's really good. So I don't really mind thin seats. Let's see how it will behave. And the screen is here in the middle. We'll see it pop out later. Shock is here. You can take a look at the shock. This is a mountain bike uh, shock. I think it's 240 millimeters, something like that of travel. No, RCP 2S. 700 pound spring, I believe. Anyways, how it works here, this um, system is already pre-installed with air or gas, so we can't change the pressure like we could on the S18. We can just ad adjust here the compression and also the rebound here. Boom. Yeah, is it this rebound? Yeah. So still pretty nice settings. It's, um, I would say, a low tier suspension anyways. Probably it's better to put something more pro in there, but that's what we get here. Um, yeah, I guess a low mid tier suspension, but maybe it works amazing. We'll get to this stuff in a second. <laughs> uh, stand from EUC Clubhouse. Hopefully it will work with it. And it's very peculiar, like, this doesn't make sense, lift it up like this. I think the handle should just be like this permanently and just have like a switch maybe. This would be comfortable to pick up this knot. And this is also a trolley handle. What? Okay, let's get this off. I believe it's a bit too tall, but that will do for now, I guess. Maybe continuing with the shock, here we have the whole element here in the back. Maybe you can show it up close. Um, this will be the moving bit and I believe compared to the um, V11 and the S18 there's also no guiding pipe sort of in here. This is all one piece that is just like sliding up and down. I'll, I'll need it, really need to like check out how it works from the inside but we also do get the pedals and this is how they look like. Really flat angle, really flat. I would, I would think that it would be more angled as it's a performance wheel and oh they go really stiff but oh yeah a thing to keep in mind is this is a sort of prototype or pre-production unit so a lot of things might change just for example as the bumper here that is very flimsy plastic and they will change it for something stronger. Uh, here we have also the boomerang as Bonneo Sen calls it, it's in, installed the other way around, so we'll have to flip it to install the side pads properly. This is all aluminium. Here will be the batteries inside that I will mount, and on top we'll have the motherboard. In general, um, do we have some comparison? Should we uh, compare it to the 16X? Yes. Look, huge wheel. Huge wheel, but very very tall too. The spokes here look really cool and the motor. Here we also have the mud guard and I think this will all get filthy because like usually the mud guard is also around a bit but here everything will just splash around. On the back I think it will be fine with this kickstand uh, but here will get filthy and also in the front the mud guard ends around here so prepare that your feet will also get filthy from that tire. This tire is a tire we didn't see yet in the EUC world. It's a Gilloir J I don't know something. It has a huge ridge here so I'm very curious about the cornering abilities and how it will perform in day-to-day uh, -day use and we also have the lights here which are adjustable with this small screw here on the top hex screw. Feels very cheap. Uh, Sounds very cheap. Yeah. And now just... Oh, can I even... Oh, this, this handle is terrible. Can I even... Oh, I guess King Song took some inspiration from the RS. Um, installing a handle that doesn't have a button and is like in the front of the wheel or like not in the middle. Uh, it's very low compared to the 16X. Yeah, I don't really mind that the handle is here because like when going on trails, it's a bit easier to push it in front of you, but it's really low. 
However, it does feel very sturdy compared to what we have on the, like even on the Sherman, on the Abrams. It feels like, probably like the most sturdy trolley handle ever. Not that tall, but very sturdy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess now we'll try to put it in again. Ow! We'll install the batteries and see how it behaves when we fire it up. All right, so it's been a while. We have assembled everything. The wheel is working. I can turn it on. Oh yeah, it's still in the transport mode. I have to turn that on. Here we also have the pedal hangers. We can, well, we don't have essentially pedal hangers. Well, we do. It's like a part that is in here. We can select the height. I will leave it in higher because maybe, as you know, I love high placed pedals. Um, not sure if like it's the most dirty, but all of this is sort of like a chassis. Um, there is sort of no plastic shell around the wheel, so it should be like an exoskeleton and pretty uh, robust, but I guess we'll have to test that in the future. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just fire it up. Let's see if we can get it out of transport mode. Now the button is here, uh, right bes beside the handle. Um, so I think that just the on and off is like not too bad. It's relatively simple to do that. However, the charge boards are also there. So we will have to test like what it's like to grab underneath there to the charge boards. Oh yeah, we need to also upgrade the firmware right away. Oh, it's showing me showing here also the look upload 2%, 3%, pretty nifty screen. And this is also all see-through this panel. You can also see some diodes here from the motherboard here on the top, pretty funny. All right, so in the meantime, we managed to do a lot. We managed to do a software update. Now the wheel is ready to rumble. Well, not for the first five kilometers anyways, or 10 kilometers, because then it will be just allow me to go 33. That's a safety feature they have. Um, but annoying, but I guess for new riders, it's re reasonable, but for someone that has more wheels than not that much. Anyways, I didn't tell you yet about the additional um, things that we have here in the box. Maybe first of all, we have the charger. Um, the production charger will be uh, probably a different one. Those chargers are not the best quality, just the same ones that Gotway uses, unsurprisingly. Um, but it is a 5 amp char charger, 126 volts. So charging will be under four hours stock in this wheel. So three and a half hours, something like that. That's really a good result. I think there's nothing to complain about here. Uh, and we, we, you have also two charge ports. So with two charge ports under two hours, that's really, really cool. Maybe we can just really quickly see what it's like with that charge port, if it's easy to insert. Just lift that up here. Oops, sorry. Uh, so you see this one is actually obstructed with the uh, phase wires for the motor. So maybe I'll just use this one instead. They use that also because it's just on the other side of the motherboard. So it's like cheaper for cost. Well, I guess it's doable. But if you have everything wet here after a ride, I don't think it will be comfortable. I think there, there would be definitely more reasonable places to put at least the charge ports in than that. Uh, but I guess we'll see in the long run how it goes. Next up, we also have the seat. And the seat just has some Velcro here on the side. I showed it already, but I guess we can already also mount it on. It also provides some further uh, protection from the motherboard on top because there's just like two layers of pr plastic protecting the motherboard. So I guess anything that um, adds to that is a bonus. So let me do that real quick. Maybe a bit to the side. Oh yeah, that's how it should be. So yeah, now we have the seat here. The screen is very much in the middle here. So I think it's not the best placement. It should be around here maybe in the front because you will just need to look down and back a lot. And if you're stationary, it shows you the um, battery percentage. And if you're, the wheel is like that, it shows you the speed. Very bright LEDs, very visible. That's uh, pretty cool. But I guess the lift switch with the, suite, with the seat, this works a little bit funny. Next up, we also have the power pads. And that's also why I put my shoes on already. Now, usually you get a wheel and the 
side pads are pretty much unusable or they're like just on the top here like on the 16x or on the uh, 14d these ones actually i really like uh, the ones on the top or like on the v12 however they're not like designed for performance riding so then you need to buy some additional pads like these torque pads which efficiently really match the color of the wheel although this is a bit i believe a bit more intense than this red uh, but we also have some stock pads by King Song, stock power pads, so we tried to put them on. Sadly, they're in just with some double-sided tape. I think that's not the best solution, especially if, if you have different shoes, uh, like for winter riding and for summer riding, then you can't adjust them. And on the marketing material before, they were showing adjustable, adjustable side pads. Now we just have this and some additional pieces here, which are labeled. BR down, so right side down, um, which is, I believe, this one. So then you have an extension, so it's just a bit more firmly in place. Also, just like one strip of uh, double sided tape here. Um, I think that's a bit of a cheap out. Honestly, what I would like for the wheel is just to come stock without any pads. So we just have these flush sides, which are pretty great, although not long enough, I believe, for most pads. Uh, and then you just either buy the ones that you want from King Song or you just get uh, some custom ones like the torque pads, which in my case work on every wheel pretty much. With that said, that's what we get here. So I'll try to put them on. Does it, is it off now? Yes. It's better to grab on this than on, uh, than on this part. So let's try to see uh, around where my foot would be. I guess around here. Foot plates are very long. I guess these are the longest foot plates I've seen. Let's check how they compare to the hex decks. I guess around the same. I hope I get some Nilonova for it soon too though. So yeah, let's try to see around where it would make sense with the lower pad. This boomerang is to like guide you where you would want that ideally. So let's see. I guess for me it would be somewhere around here. So a bit to the front. Would that be right? Let me just stand up real quick. Yeah, I guess that would be around right. So now I need to remember. Just take a bit to the front and I can remove the double-sided tape. Already I could feel it digs into my uh, ankle a lot. So let's see um, if the guard I guess it was like that. I guess. No, maybe. It's, see, it's difficult with because once it's on, it's on. Uh, it's like a bit angled more down. Down. Like this. Wait, let me put that shoe sh foot on again. Do you need a additional hand? Ah, wait. Or maybe a, maybe I put it just very. Gently, just a bite. Okay, that doesn't look right. Maybe like this. Oh, that looks about right. But okay, it's it's on already. <laughs> so I, I can't do much. <laughs> so I guess if I don't like it, I can just move it later. But I'll also put these on, so I can. Can I put them on even now at this point? Let's see. Bit tedious, bit tedious, not gonna lie. Ah, because I have it just a bit angled, so it doesn't fit that nicely anymore. Okay, I guess that's... Wait. <laughs> uh, that's as good as it gets for now. So, that's, that's that for now. So let's try also to put the top one in. All of those are pretty squishy but still with some resistance I like the shape that it like really tapers off and it's like really sharp here but I know I don't know if it will be like my favorite pad ever ah, it's a bit difficult maybe I'll just put it in like this it's more difficult than putting a picture on the wall and like make sure it's leveled <laughs> that's the left one up so this time we learned the lesson we will put this one on first and I believe I have to just put it below the screws because otherwise it won't fit. So let's try it like so. I guess that's as good as it gets. 
And let's put this one on. Uh, how was it again? But this is also a bit in the way. Uh, let's try. I guess that's where it is now. <laughs> so it looks very cool. I mean, this doesn't fit <laughs> anymore. But with that said, I'm really happy that they also choose red. So many UCs are just like black or like white. I think that's pretty interesting that they choose a different color. Seat. Ooh, suspension. <laughs> it would be great if they have multiple colors to choose. Oh yeah, because not everyone likes red. And the pedals, they have they're held on by friction, so they will still stay in place even if you have those pads there. Okay, let me do the other ones off camera because it's just very tedious. All right, so as good as we could do it, we put everything on. Um, interesting thing is that it rolls backwards by itself if uh, nothing happens. So sort of like the EXN. So if you turn it off, it's just like <laughs> it goes backwards right away. Um, so that's that. And yeah, I guess we'll see how the pads work. I, see, I guess we'll see how all of it sort of performs, but it feels big, but it doesn't feel heavy, like the Abrams, for example. I mean, it's as heavy as the Sherman. Um, it feels actually quite nimble for what it is. Whee! And here, you can see that the top is sort of shaped in this way, so it doesn't like really hurt your legs, um, because, the, for example, the Abrams is like this, and then your knees go against it. This seems still fine, still manageable, I think, although it's a big wheel. Maybe it's just really quick. I put the Sherman next to it. Don't roll back. You really need to watch out with this wheel so it doesn't roll back. Does it still go back? Uh, no. Good. So here's the Sherman. So it's noticeably taller. Um, in terms of width, maybe a bit wider, maybe a small bit wider. But yeah, it's definitely also longer because of that shock. So if you need the portable wheel, not sure if that's the best option. So I guess, uh, or maybe we just test out, should we test out the lights? Yes, any, <laughs> just rolling backwards. Uh, anyways, that's the light of the uh, S20. Relatively focused, as you can see. I like that, that it doesn't like shine over the place and blind you or blind oncoming traffic. Uh, but let's see how it compares to state-of-the-art V11. So this is the uh, S18 and this will be the V11. Actually, the S18 looks brighter. S20. S20. So that's really good. I guess the light will be good performing. And probably for pushing the wheel around, because you can't stand upright, uh, it will be better to do it this way because it just goes automatically in that direction. Maybe just a small thing here, in the back we have the lights and uh, I don't think they are the most visible. Uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Probably you'll need some additional lighting to be visible in night. Kind of sucks. Recently the light game of UCs has been very weak. Uh, so I guess that's that, really. Uh, I think that in general it's a pretty interesting product. In general, I like the metal look. I like that it's like sort of all metal. It doesn't feel janky uh, from, from my eyes. I think that relatively there is a bit of thought to that wheel. Maybe the screws could be better too. Uh, but yeah, I think in general it just feels very similar to as what I received with the S18 or better actually, because especially this trolley handle, even though it doesn't want to go out, it feels very, very sturdy. So with that said, uh, subscribe if you want to see the upcoming ride video, subscribe if you want to see the review. Uh, there's almost 50,000 of us, so big thanks for that. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.